Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Dragon Veil. So I was quite surprised that they released this uh, Blizzard Dragon uh, right after the Century Dragon yesterday. So before we start, uh, I got quite a story to tell you actually. Well, not a big one, but um, when I woke up this morning, I looked out the window, I was like, wow, there's like 50 centimeter of snow. And then uh, I was just thinking back yesterday, there wasn't even any snow at all. I think it was like melting and it was like summer or spring was coming in. And then, so today there's like 50 centimeter of, meter of snow. I walked outside, I was like, all right. So I had plans to go to the grocery store to buy some soup. So I walked outside, went, I, I was wearing like, I wasn't wearing that much. Like I, I just had my jacket on. So I walked halfway, I was like, wow, this is cold. I wasn't gonna turn back, so I got to the store, got my soup, came back. I never thought that Dragon Veil will release another dragon today. Well, I didn't think it would, they would, because they were like right after each other. So I looked at it, I was like, the blizzard dragon, and then I was thinking, looking at the weather outside. So there's a blizzard storm, and then here we go with the blizzard dragon. So that, I don't know, I thought that was quite unique. Anyways, so today we're going to be learning how to breed the Blizzard Dragon. Uh, the Blizzard Dragon is a really simple dragon, actually. It's only two elements. It's the elements of air and cold. I got the dragon within my first try, so it's not that difficult. It might take you longer if, if luck isn't really on your side today. Uh, yeah, so the dragon is 10 hours. It takes 10 hours to breed and it takes 10 hours for the dragon to hatch. Dragon I use, uh, I use the direct elements, so the dragon I used was the cold dragon and the air dragon. And I got it within my first try, 10 hours. You'll see a purple egg uh, with snowflakes, and it'll take 10 hours for that egg to hatch. And if you're wondering what the dragon's breath looks like, I, it's actually air breath. So it's the air dragons like, I don't know, what a burst or whatever they call it. So something's really strange about this dragon. If, you, if you're really into design and looking at uh, texture or just something, if you place two dragons together, you'll notice that there's something different about the graphics for this, uh, this blizzard dragon. If you put a fog dragon and the blizzard dragon together, you'll notice this immediately. I mean, it's brighter, it's like clearer, it's it's like just better somehow. It's I'm not I'm not really sure how I can put that into words, but you'll notice something really different about this dragon. Maybe it's the color, I'm not really sure. But yeah, so definitely like check that out. But then again, you know, Century Dragon has something really has a really cool design or artistic kind of shell anyways anyways i think they're changing uh the design or the designer is improving on their his or her design so i think that's a really neat thing just wanted to point that out anyways uh good luck breeding for this dragon and if it's snowing where you are then wear more and keep yourself warm anyways see ya